After nine months of waiting, Alexis Caves is here. In this video, I will do my best to give you a closer look at the triumph of Omad and also illustrate some beautiful cinematics. Watch till the end since this mod is packed with amazing content and you can't miss out even on the minute details about it. To get started, you need to find this underground structure where this palanquin table lays. In the bottom next to it, you can find a couple of ancient tablets and some papers. Those can be used in this planetary table to forge a cave codex, in which you can use to gain information about that specific biome. After you gain the knowledge, you can then craft the codex into a map, and with that, our journey to the unknown begins. The first biome we will discover is the Abyssal Chasm. Prepare to embark on an exploration journey through the mesmerizing abyssal chasm, an aquatic wonder hidden deep beneath the Minecraft waves. But you won't be exploring this underwater marvel with just any ordinary gear. Oh no, for that you need a cutting edge submarine to unlock its secrets. As you dive into the abyssal chasm, brace yourself for a breathtaking experience. You'll encounter a world of ravaging underwater builds and enigmatic sea creatures. Some of these beings have died centuries ago, and others gracefully glide through the waters. But be aware, for not all the residents of the abyssal chasm welcome you with open arms. Some will defend their territory with a fierce determination, challenging your courage and testing your wits. As you navigate this enchanting underwater world, you might stumble upon a hidden bedroom a sanctuary to retreat to in case you find yourself in a tight spot. Yet, amidst this wondrous aquatic adventure, a daunting presence lurks in the shadows, the colossal and mysterious Hallbreaker. This awe-inspiring leviathan could send shivers down your spine. Strangely though, it appears to be passive. But be warned, pushing the limits of its patience might not end well for you. An encounter with the Heartbreaker is a taste of bravery that few dare to face. Now let's move on to an even more diversified land, and it is the Primordial Caves. Now here I tried a multitude of shaders, none of which were convenient due to the nature of this cave, so we will go vanilla for now. The primordial caves unveil a fascinating tableau of prehistoric life from the tiniest of inhabitants to the towering giants. This place is a mesmerizing kaleidoscope of biodiversity. Some graze peacefully, while others are relentless predators in search of their next meal. What truly sets this place apart is the intricate dance of survival, with dinosaurs engaging in a relentless predator prey interplay. And in the midst of this amazing place, hidden structures reveal themselves, each offering items like dinosaur nuggets and coal. Here you'll be enchanted by the dynamic nature of the ecosystem, where every detail down to the way a dinosaur's feet interact with the terrain has been meticulously crafted to eliminate any sense of unnatural floating. The primordial caves stand as a testament to Alex's craftsmanship and testament to the endless possibilities of establishing your very own demonian within this wild and untamed biome. Satan's Land, or what Alex prefers to call Forlorn Hollows. Here you encounter the most peculiar and ominous structures ever seen. The atmosphere is heavy, with a never presenting sense of danger, and it's for a good reason as a sinister, four-legged creature hides in the inky shadows. Its unnatural form concealed by the darkness, it only becomes visible when it's too late. The fallen hollows are now for the faint of heart, as only the truly courageous dare to face the mysteries that lie within. Chernobyl Disaster That would be the perfect name to describe the toxic caves. With lakes full of nuclear waste, a suffocating green air overwhelming the place, and radioactive barrels everywhere. You may also encounter the unlucky bastards who happen to be impacted by the toxic radiation of this place. 
they all have mutated into these disgusting shapes and some are truly horrifying to go against like this buff monster or this walking atomic bomb if by any chance you happen to activate its defense mechanism a nuclear explosion will devastate the place leaving the place even more damaged and toxic Magnetic cave is a place full of electricity with a lot of rings and things. This cave is covered predominantly by those red and blue piles of rock and these electrical pillars. But be careful, you might get hydraulic pressed by this creature. It will follow you anywhere and try to crush you to death. But this dude should be the least of your worries. Bigger and stronger magnetic monsters are on the way. One worse than the other. Final feature to mention about this magical place is the magnets you can craft. With the blue one has anti-gravity effect on iron blocks and the red one with a gravitational force instead. In every single one of these biomes you will find a special weapon as your reward. These new weapons feature top notch models and animations and they pack a serious punch, so the effort it takes to obtain them is absolutely worth it. Get ready to wield these powerful tools and experience the joy of destroying mobs with it. Now you may be asking, how can I get this masterpiece? For starters, you need to click on the link in the description. Here you will see this page. Scroll down a bit and click on the green button, which will lead you to the original landing page. Here, you will not only need Alexis Caves mod, but also Citadel mod. So let's install both. After they are both downloaded, we must drag both mods to the Minecraft mods folder. If you don't have one, simply create it. Let's launch the game with Force 1.20.1. And there you go. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. See ya in the next one.